I'm up to the third triangle on the bottom row, and this is a modified triangle. As you can see, this is kind of a floater, so they've converted this in the booklet so that makes it more straightforward for English paper piecing. When I was doing my block prep, I did not number these, and what I found is that I needed to mark these not only with numbers, but with arrow directions so that my directional fabric would all be in the same direction when I assembled my triangle. So I'm going to start down here and assemble this whole section before I go on to this. And so these three pieces will form a unit and these three pieces will form a unit to attach to number two and then six, seven, and eight, if you look at that from a triangle standpoint, will fill in this to make this point. And then I will just piece this on here so that I could finish off this triangle. So I have my pieces laid out and I basted one before I remembered that, oh yeah, I got a video first. So um, I wanted my tags to go out, so I basted this side first and this side at the same time so that I had a tighter edge here for this flat side that's going to go on to number seven. And so then I'm going to work on making sure that my tags are going to be kind of wrangled in. I'm going to base this side first to make it go out. Same with all of these triangles. And this I'm going to do the same way so it goes towards this triangle because I don't have any competing tags that way. And so I will get all this unit done here and move on to the next section. So I've got my units attached to each other. Um, I've got these three that are going to go on to number two. And this is the same thing on the other side. And then I have this tip with the point on it ready to go. So I'm going to assemble these pieces and then we'll work on the rest of it. So I've got my two units on the side attached, and so this is what it should look like at this point. And then I'm going to attach this to finish off the triangle piece. Now I've got the tip of my triangle unit completed, so that means I've got this whole section done. So now it's a matter of attaching 11 and 12. And I'm going to take out, I'm going to take my booklet and I'm going to actually set it on there so I have this angle. I've noticed as I've been assembling triangles, and of course it's taken me two rows to figure this out, occasionally this angle will be off as you assemble it. And so I've been, I've been laying it out and making sure that I've got this, this little tiny tip exactly where it needs to go. So it follows the correct angle. So I'm going to get that lined up and then I'm going to check it. So I've placed my first additional piece on here, which is my number 12. And i am checked it on this to make sure that my triangle's in the right location. Of course, it's a little bigger on the bottom because of the additional seams, but my my goal is to get this line correct. So I've got this taped in the right location. And then what I'm gonna do is take my number 11 with this exactly where it needs to be and line that up. And when I line it up, I'm gonna see where it hits here and tape that and then make this be one single line and check it before I start sewing. And then that way I'll be able to attach it accurately and keep the angle of the side consistent. Okay, I've got my 11 and 12 bits connected. And so I'll, what I gotta do next is my 13 block which is this one, and I will baste opposite sides and opposite sides and then connect it one side at a time. 
but I've got my square number 13 connected and then I got to do 14 and 15 and I'm gonna do the same method as I did earlier I'm gonna put it in place and then baste my 14 and 15 and slide it here to place it to make sure that my angle is correct all the way down I got 14 and 15 attached and I'm just going to verify my angles. It lines up with the point. And then on this side, this way I know that I got the, sh the angle correct on each side. And now I just have to attach my number 16 wherever it went. Here it is. And I'm going to, you know, just do the V and I will be all done with this triangle. Now that I got the tip attached, I am now done with my BR3 triangle.